one of those thumbnails have got to be good because I'm pretty sure I ripped some books trying to trying to get that. Hey guys, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my September book haul. Apparently, I have acquired a hefty amount of books in just this month. So, let's get into uh what I got. The first two books I'm going to talk about, I did trades over on Twitter, so I'm pretty excited to have my hands on these books. The first one I have is The How and the Why by Cynthia Hand, and this book comes out in November. I'm not sure of the exact date. Oh, November 5th. And this book is about a girl who was adopted, and I think she ends up finding letters from her real parents, or she writes them letters. Basically, I think it's about her um, in search of her identity. So, sounds really good. I love Cynthia Han. I love The Afterlife of Holly Chase, and I also love the Lady Jane series. So good. Then I traded The Girl in the Tower by Katherine Arden, which I do not have The Bear and the Nightingale, but when I saw this arc and they had a book that I wanted, I was, or they had a book that I had, they wanted, <laughs> when they asked for one of the books I had, I looked at their thing and they had this and I was like, I'll take it. So still need book one, but this is, I th think a pretty good book to add to my collection because I hear nothing but good things. The next book I got is The Van Apfel Girls Are Gone and this is a thriller and I believe um, these sisters are either they committed suicide or they're stolen. I forget but it's the Australian summer of 1992. They mysteriously disappear. So it's pretty short, sounds pretty good, can't wait to read it, and I paid like three bucks for it. The next book I got is Bunny by Mona Awad, and this is a book about... Hello? Hey? Filming? Yeah? For YouTube! What are you doing? You want a giveaway? What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? I said I'm going down the front Friday and then I said I took your voice to so I can call. Oh. I thought you said I won a giveaway. I was like, oh you did? I'll keep filming a porno. I'm not filming a porno. With two dogs and a hot dog. Oh, no. next book I got is Bunny by Mona Awad and this book is about a girl who is swept up into this cult of freaky bizarre girls and it's weird but I have read this I talked about it in my September wrap-up awesome it's awesome then I got The Institute by Stephen King and this is his 61st published novel what a freaking career this book is about children who have psychic abilities who are taken away from their families and like monitored in this like room i'm really excited to get to this one i think that is, sounds really really awesome so can't wait then i got small spaces by katherine arden and I really don't know what this is about except for it's like fall setting. Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi and I literally have not heard one bad thing about this book so I've been putting it off uh, buying the hardback so when I saw the hardback or when I saw the paperback on Book Outlet for like four bucks I was like okay it's time. Then I got Keeper of the Lost Cities by Sharon Messenger and this is a middle grade novel about a girl who is but she doesn't know it and then one day she finds out and she 
basically like the girl version of Harry Potter I believe this to be. I picked up Shug by Jenny Han and this is the only solo Jenny Han book that I haven't read. I haven't read her Burn for Burn trilogy that she wrote with um, Siobhan Vivian. So uh, I need to pick that up as well. But um, I don't know what this is about. I just know Jenny Han wrote it. Then I got The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Poli, and this book is 1800s London. A guy finds this timepiece mysteriously at his house, and then it happens to save his life. I love books with London settings, like I'm obsessed, so I had to pick this one up. And I got The Colorado Kid by Stephen King, and if you don't know, Haven is one of my favorite shows. I really loved it. I watched it with my grandma, and we had so much fun watching it together. So I've been waiting to pick up a copy of The Colorado Kid because that's what inspired the television show. So I saw this on Book Outlet for like three bucks, so I picked it up. Then I got Deathless by Catherine M. Valentine. Valent? Valent? I don't know. Everybody is obsessed with this. That's all I know. Then by Lauren Stefano, I got The Cursed Sea. And this is the sequel to The Glass Spare. Which when I read that book, I was obsessed. I loved it. It made my favorites of the year. Never picked up the sequel. Now I have it. Now I need to reread The Glass Bear so I can dive into this one. Oh, The Glass Bear is about this girl who is cursed and her touch turns people into gemstone. So rad. The final thing that I have to talk about is not a book, but it is The Embers of Memory, a Throne of Glass game. Obviously, I had to collect this when it came out. So I really want to play it, so I'll probably ask Yesenia to play it with me. All right, guys, that is my September book haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these, if you're excited about any of them. Let me know what books you picked up in September as I would love to hear about it. And that is all for this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.